Hello again and welcome to another edition of Southern Country. Hi, I'm Herb Sutton and welcome to the show, my friends. Today we're in Freehold, New Jersey at Metz Bicycle Shop. And next to me is Dave Metz, owner of the bicycle shop. Welcome to the show, Dave. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Tell us about the bicycle shop and how you came, came interested in bicycles and mechanicals. Well, I was born and raised on a farm in Cranberry, New Jersey, and I grew up on a farm. And on a farm, if you had to uh, work on machinery, if it broke down, you learned how to figure out what's wrong with it and fix it and repair it yourself. And the, uh, later on in life, I got interested in early mechanical things, which includes antique bicycles is my main thing. I have a lot of early riding toys, kitchen gadgets, tools, a big collection of early mouse traps and many other mechanical devices. Everything I collect is mechanical. Well, my friends, we're here at Met's Bicycle Shop in Freehold, and we're indoors now. And Dave, what is this bicycle? This, this is considered a bicycle with four wheels? This is a quadricycle. It goes back mm -hmm. to 1851. It has four wheels, wooden rims, iron tires, and it's a foot lever drive. The two foot levers are connected to the rear offset axle. And by this act, this, these foot levers activate the cycle. See how it drives? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is an American made? No, this is made in England. It's a very rare piece. And it's uh, the only one I know of in the United States. Wow. Wow. And what kind of steering does it have? It has a tiller steering, uh, this handle. This is, this, is, this is not an ordinary handlebar. No, it's a tiller handle steering. Wow. How many do you think were made in England in the old days? Well, not too many. It was a, quite an expensive piece was in the it? early days, and not everybody could afford it. You have to be pretty well off to afford these. It uh, has fifth wheel steering in the front, yep. I noticed, with the tiller. D yeah. Pretty interesting. Pretty Very interesting. interesting piece. 1851, it says. Right. Wow. That goes back a few days. Well, Dave, what's unusual about this other than looking at it? Well, this is one of the rarest cycles in the world. It's a a quadricycle tandem made by the Coventry Club Tandem Cycle Company in England. It, uh, it has four wheels and it's a tandem, two people ride on it. It's a very rare piece and uh, uh, there were not too many of them made because they were quite expensive in the early days and you had to be pretty well off to afford it. You can detach the rear section by taking one bolt off and converting it to a high wheel tricycle. And if you do that, you have to put this safety bar on so that it would not tilt backwards and you okay. fall backwards on your head. It's a very rare piece. And uh, The gas lights? These are kerosene lights. The rear light has a red lens on it, and <laughs> the two front ones are uh, kerosene no lights. No kidding. Now, this is a foot pedal? That's for this coasting. Co oh, coasting. All right. Coasting yeah, pegs. The wheels keep moving. The pedals keep moving. Right. And okay. it has the steering handles here to oh. steer the wheels, the front <laughs> yeah. wheel. Wow. It has a handbrake for the front rider okay. and a, a handbrake for the rear rider yeah. on the handlebar. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. And this was the, this was your whole this, this was your considered a handlebar, huh? Yeah, this That's is steering. steering for steering. Pretty cool for the front Very rider. Good. How old is this again? This goes back to 1885. Wow. Any of them left in the country? Or you. This is it. Well, this is the only one anyone knows of. Okay. There's. Uh, uh, one in, in uh, Holland, okay. and uh, somebody's working to restore one in Canada, but okay. they're, they're this is not the, the only one that's known. Okay. Well, Dave, how long have you been collecting bikes? I've been collecting bikes for about 50 years. And they're all, you want to, worldwide you've collected I've been say. all over the world collecting bikes, all over the United States, Canada, England, Holland, okay. all over. And these bikes that are in the shop, you rode all, all these bikes at one time or another? Yep, every bicycle in the museum here is rideable. Rideable, and you, and, and it's all, you, you bought them all, and some of them were rideable and some weren't when you bought so, them. Some of them had to be restored, and if they needed restoration, I restored them. Tell us about this one. Well, this is an 1884 Rudge Rotary Tandem Tricycle. It's a very rare piece. It's the only one in the United States that I know of. Two people ride on it. It has double steering, and uh, it's a very rare piece. Uh, several years ago, Governor Whitman rode uh -huh. on this bicycle with me. She does a lot of bicycle riding, and she was on a tour from Washington's Crossing to Point Pleasant, which is 60 miles, and Freehold is one of her stops. 
So the borough asked if I would bring over a cycle to offer her a ride on uh, one of my antique bikes, and I took this bike over. We have a park here. Mm -hmm. it, it was a, it's a state park. And uh, I offered her a ride on the tricycles here, and she loved it. She asked if her son could ride on it with her. Front seat or back seat did she sit in? She was, sat in the front, the front seat. seat. I sat in the back seat. Did she help you pedal, huh? Oh, yeah. She there was really go. good. Good. All right. And uh, this is a very rare piece and a beautiful piece. It is definitely a beautiful piece with the, with the side steering like you showed before. Well, Dave, we're closing a show next to a bicycle that's very near and dear to you. Tell us more about this bike. Well, this is my favorite riding bike. It's a 52-inch 50, 50, new rapid high wheel bicycle. I've been riding this bicycle for 35 years, and I've ridden it all over the world and uh, all over the United States. It's uh, a very solid, sturdy riding bike. It has the spokes are wired and soldered at two, plate, two points, uh, and they're crossed over eight spokes. It's a uh, very nice riding bike, and I've enjoyed it for many years. And the seat is pretty comfortable? Yes, it's a comfortable seat. It has a spring in the rear and a spring in the front, and it's a hammock-type seat, which gives you a nice, soft ride. And a direct drive through the axle? It's a direct drive. The cranks are attached right to the front axle. Right. It has a handbrake and uh, the mm -hmm. mounting peg for mounting the right. bicycle. and. Uh, I've got many, many years of pleasure many enjoying miles. riding it. Many miles. Many miles. <laughs> many miles. Yeah. Before we, before we wrap up the show, tell us on the web where they can find you and hours of operation. The website is www.metsbicyclemuseum.com. Hours of operation. We're open Wednesday and Saturday afternoons from 12.30 to 4.30 or by appointment for any time that it's convenient for groups, organizations, or even private people. And uh, we're, we're here in Freehold, New Jersey at Mets Bicycle Museum. And Dave, thank you very much for, being, for allowing us to be here. And I want to tell everybody at home what you just saw is not even scratching the surface of what you can see in this museum as far as bicycles are concerned, as far as everything is concerned. He has a collection of a lot of stuff, so come on down and visit. Dave, thank you very much. Thank you. It has been a pleasure. <laughs>